as we continue on, we're going to go over some of the misconceptions that people have with fighting. What I mean by fighting is that's been punching and kicking and people coming at you. The chances of that happening on the street are not that great. Um, something's going to have to come up for that to happen, maybe grab you and you got them off you. But we are going to talk about the difference between fighting and we're going to talk about the difference of survival. One of the biggest misconceptions that people have on the street, and they kind of mix the two things up in their training, is that people are going to stay back with you. Let me borrow Jack for a minute, and I'll, I'll be the one moving around. You got, you got your hands up, and a guy's going to be moving around on this. This is not going to happen. He's not going to stand out at a distance. In the real world, in the real world, the, the situation that I've been in, when a guy wants you, he's in your face. That's it. There's not going to be any respect. There is no respect on the street. And dealing with large people and smaller people, there's two totally different ways in which they're going to attack you. Smaller people, you'll find they'll throw kicks, punches, and they're just going to come at you like a little buzzsaw. And bigger people are going to come at you with a punch, and they're just going to bulldog, and they're trying to get their hands on you, and they're just going to shove you through a wall. Those are the difference is in the things that happen on the street. There is no respect. They're on you, and that's what's going to happen. So let's talk about some of the misconceptions that are out there and some of the things that happen. Let me uh, borrow up Bob for a moment. So in the real world, we're going to go over some of these fantasies out there and misconceptions because they are misconceptions. They do not work. There's a man as big as Bob, Deadly, or Jack. Jack is my size, and this is what you see everything in. Jack throws a punch here. He throws a punch here. I get to throw him down. I get to look good, throw a punch. Of course, I broke the rules. I'm getting hit from behind for somebody else. Any time that you think you can get a lock, a sweep, or a throw, you're training that way with a person your size. Very big misconception because it's not going to work. Also, when a person comes in, if I'm going to grab this person, he throws in, I'm trying for some sweep, he's just going to shank me with a knife instantly. It's going to be right there. I'm stabbed. This is the mindset you must have. If you have any other mindset, any other mindset whatsoever, you're going to be in a world of hurt because you've got to take it back to the dojang or your karate school because this is he throws a weapon, he comes in, that weapon's in your face, you're trying to get it. Or maybe I got him down. Put the put back. Maybe he's down on the ground. Boom. I'm focused on he's pull out a knife. He's going to stick it right in my face. Or something else is going to be coming from behind. You have to have that mindset. Because everyone in the real world on the street, they're packing. This guy's going to attack me? You've got to have the mindset that they're packing. And so many people are out there doing all these techniques. They're not dealing in the real world. They're dealing in a controlled world. And there are no controls on the street out there. So when a big man like Mr. Zorn steps in, this is very upsetting for me. I, I, I watch people train, in, as we train in the martial arts, we train to work with one another. On the street, he throws a punch. He comes in here. He lets me look good. I get to do all these head butts and techniques. I get to stand on one knee, try to get some power in the knee. And I get to do all these things to him, and he's going to fall down. Well, that's not real. Also, he throws a punch. I'm going to come in with an arm lift or some kind of arm. This is fantasy. This is, this is not real. I cannot twist. As soon as I hit this arm, this other hand's coming. This other hand's coming. I promise you, he'll tear your head off. So many people, when they train, they throw one punch, and I get to do my fun things. I get to look great. I get to look good. What's going to happen? That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. He's going to come in with power and strength. And this is what's going to happen. Taking my balance. This is, you must grasp that. You must grasp that. But he thinks he's attacking me. Well, I'm attacking him. We're going to go over some of the things that you're going to have to do and what will happen to you. And when you fight a man, 250 pounds, that has a drug problem, that's cranked up, ready to go, maybe he's mad at the world. You've got a problem, and I don't care who you are. You've got a problem. Anyone that says, I can knock this person out with punches or kicks, they're not dealing in the real world. That's not going to happen. Why is it in the world's uh, ultimate fighting championships, everything's so ugly? Because it is. It's chaos. Why is it that um, Muay Thai fighters can take tremendous kicks to the legs, tremendous elbows to the face, and they're still up? I keep hearing, I'm just going to break his arm. I'm going to knock him out. That's not going to happen, especially when there's drugs and stuff involved, when this person's fired up, ready to come for you. You must have the mindset 
that you cannot grab, you cannot throw, absolutely not. You cannot knee lift. You're trying to get a knee lift in there. I'm a trained martial artist for 30 years, and I, my best knee lift is going to just do nothing. I'm standing on one foot. I'm going to be the one on the ground. We're going to look at the difference of the people out there, the smaller people and the larger people. We're going to break those up very quickly, and we're going to show you some of the things that we do. And we only do two or three things. That's it. We're going to bring out some of the weapons that we have. Fighting, when we talk about fighting and survival, fighting is you guys want to throw punches at each other, fine. Try out your kicks, great. But survival is when you and your family's lives are in danger. And we're going to use the things around us. We're going to do as much damage as quickly as possible. And we're going to try to get out of there. But number one, avoiding the problem. If you can buy the guy a drink, you can give him your money or whatever. You can avoid it. But when it gets down to it, you're going to have to survive. Good. Thank you, Bob. Let me borrow Jack. We've talked about the body types. And there's two body types. Basically, if you look at most videos or most uh, magazines, you got the instructor bigger or the same size, and here's what you got. Someone smaller than you or your size, which lets me do all the things that I want to do in some cases. The real world, let's talk about the real world for a moment, is that you're not going to get a big warning on it in most cases. If a guy wants to stand around and dance, he's moving around, He's dancing all around the floor. Don't dance with him. This, you, you belong back in the karate school now. You belong back in your karate school again. You don't want to do that. If he's dancing, apologize. Don't ever move. Don't move. Just stay with my feet. Barely move. I don't want to move. I'm keeping my eyeballs. I don't have time to play these games. If he doesn't want to come for me, we didn't have a fight. We don't need a lawyer. We don't need nothing. Talk to the guy. Buy him a beer whatever. But don't ever... This is where you're back in your karate school again. You, you're playing now. Don't, we don't have time to play. Keep him off you. Let him apologize or whatever. But now, when his hands are up, you're apologizing. When he moves, we're not going to do anything yet, but when he moves, you got to, here's what happens so often. A person comes at you slowly, and I get to do all these wonderful things. This is fantasy and misconception. In the real world, you're here, and if he comes, boom, he's on it. Boom, that fast. That's it. He's on you. You don't have a warning. But Jack's a smaller person, so he's going to allow me to do different things. He's going to let me do different things to what we're trying to work with. So when he's moving from here, you're going to find that I attack him. Again, mindset is simple. I saw it. I saw it. I get to move. So he moves. I move. I'm moving on him very, what? Relaxed. Relaxed. If he throws something, if he's fat, I'm moving on him. No blocks. There is no throw punch. There's none of this. There's, please. There's none of this. He's punching. He, this is absolutely ridiculous. Jack's a smaller person. I'm going to this weakest point. He's coming in. I'm just, I'm coming in on him. As you watch the neck, you'll always see this hand here. I cannot kill this man. I cannot kill this man. You're going to be here. You're striking the side of the neck. Your hand's very relaxed. As we've talked about the two fingers before, this is what I want. I want to be right into his face. I'm coming for him. So you'll see that we never throw elbows or nothing. As he comes in with a punch here, as you train with your punch, it's just here. I've moved in on him, right here. Right here. Leverage is tight. We talk about this motion here. Must be tight. I'm already looking at other things. Careful, because this man is just a shield. That's all he is. He's a shield. He's my protection, because in the real world, there's more than one. I never have the right to think I'm dealing with one man. So when he moves in with a punch, he's just, because this guy's not a very smart man, and very tight. Of course, hair is very great. Can't break this man's neck, but he's going to see me pop him down, looking as a shield in case another person is coming. So again, I'm standing here. He comes in with a punch. I'm moving on him. I don't care. There's your shield. I'm looking. I'm looking where it's going to be. Taking him out. You'll never see me get into these kinds of motions because if I train that way, you will train the same way with a small person or a big person. So Jack steps out. As this bigger person comes in, if I train that way, he throws a punch, steps forward with a punch, boom, here. I'm going to try to, because I've trained that way. I've trained that way. And he's pulling out a knife, of course, and sticking it into my guts. 
because I'm supposed to fall down. This is not going to happen. You must always train, and how we train is with someone this big. This is it. You've, you've got to try to survive this first. If you can survive this, then you can go on to different things. Let me borrow Jack again. Another misconception is that you'll have time. If this man wants you, if this man's upset, there's not going to be a warning. He's coming. He's going to be in your face. He's going to, he's going to be throwing punches. He's going to be fast. Smaller men you'll find throw punches quick. They're going to be in your face. But he's not, if you get a boxer, everything's different. Don't. Just don't. Get out of his way. He wants to box. He's got to run at you. Get out of his way. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. He's, you know, as a boxer. So that's what you're looking for. The boxers don't. They're jumping around. He's not charging you. He's out there popping jabs. Ah, go play somewhere else because that's what you're running into on the street. You're not going to run into a boxer on the street. You're going to run into someone who's going to rip your head off. This is showing respect. This is showing respect. There's no respect out there. There is no respect out there. He's just coming to rip your head off with no warning or whatever. That's a misconception that people have. What will happen, he's going to come in quick, bam, 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 bam. He's, he's punching, he's punching. You must train yourself to come forward. You have, I have no respect for this man. Now, I can do things to a smaller man, like Jack, than I can do with Bob, but the concepts are the same. Surviving the technique, I never want to stay in front of someone. You will note that when someone throws a punch, throw the punch, people try to block the technique and then wait for it to come or, or shift and stay in front of the person. It's just, it's uh, illogical, especially when you get into bigger men. Not using a weapon yet, but as he's coming from here, as he's throwing a punch, I'm just moving in his, his face here, getting rid of the person, getting ready as a shield or whatever. You will never see multiple techniques throw the punch. You'll never see me, I, and I, actually people out there honestly think that they're going to punch people in the chest and get into this and all these things and, you know, and all this. Take a look at how they train. As soon as the guy throws a punch, his hand drops down, and I get to do whatever I want. I get to do whatever I'm going to do. That's not real. When he comes at you, bam, bam, he's in your face, bam, bam, you're here. This is, if you're going to be standing here, you've you got something going on. You've got something going on. You want to get out of the way. Never. Never, hands up, throw a punch. I don't ever want to punch back. I don't ever want to try to meet his power. I want to end it to the softest points of his body. Two fingers coming up. Two fingers coming up to the base of the skull here. Hooking it very powerfully here, moving forward and down. This is what we discussed, the concepts of a smaller person. We're talking about fighting a little bit. And now we're going to take it up to what's going to happen with bigger people. A lot of misconceptions out there and a lot of things that uh, just don't happen. Um, again, we've talked about the crash dummy, guy throwing a punch, coming in and let me do my thing. This is not going to happen. You never want to stand on one foot. These things don't work. Again, he comes in hard. You always see people trying head butts or elbows or whatever. This, he's a crash dummy. He's not doing nothing. His hands relaxed. He's not doing nothing. That's a misconception. Another misconception is, throw a punch, is that, that I can handle his power coming at me forward, giving me a time to attack him. If I am standing in front of him, coming hard, coming hard, coming hard, you, you're going to be in a world of hurt here. You're going to be in a world of hurt. He's taking your balance. You're not going to have any way to survive. Absolutely the most important thing when you deal with a big man, many times you won't have a warning. You won't have a warning. He'll either run you into a wall, or he's going to freight train you really, really bad, and things are going to happen. Let me actually come at an angle from here, Bob. As in the real world, when someone comes at you, and if you don't have time to see, because this man has no respect for me. He's just going to come in hard, bulldog with the punches. He's free, and this is what's going to happen. He's going to slam you up against the wall, and you're in a world of hurt. You're in a world of hurt. He's on you. He's going to be pummeling you. And if you don't know the right things to do, you're going to be gone. You must avoid that if you can. If he's coming at you hard, we start to move, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Do not meet his power. Do not meet this man's power at all cost. There are no, I hear a lot and I see a lot, low side, high side, attack the center. That's not, that's not realistic again. 
because you're not going to have time. The real world is you're standing here, all of a sudden, boom, that's it. You're not going to get low side, high side, nothing. You're not going to get a thing. Now, if he stands there, comes in like a crash dummy, and lets me go low side, high, yeah, you're right. We can make each other look good, and that's what people train in, in that aspect or concept. Or he's going to have his hands up. And this man puts his hands up. He's not going to bounce around with me. He's just coming. He has no fear of me whatsoever. So he is on you quickly and fast. So we have no weapons right now. We're going to look at that initial attack. He comes at you very, very quickly. You got to get out of the way. You survive the initial attack. You survive the initial attack. You're here. Now, if he moves forward again to see this, he's going to be on you. He's going to turn. He's going to come at you quick. Boom. You got him off. You survived. But I promise you, he's coming for some more. You've got to survive that first attack. From here, now I'm going to take it up to him. I didn't have enough time. He comes at me quick. Put my guy off. You're going to see me stay into him. Never, never punching, never elbowing because I can't hurt him. This won't do anything. He's going to just rip my head off. Got to shut him down. Got to shut him down. So when he comes in, you're going to watch this hand. This hand here is going to take a piece of his neck. It's going to take a piece of his neck. You can always see this dude here. It's going to turn his head, but it's going to come through very, very hard. This man's got hair. I love hair. But, again, you talked about the two fingers. Bridge crushing it down, striking to the base of the head here. So when he comes in from here hard, you're going to be to here, and you, you forget about everything else, and you're going to go as hard as you can into this person. You do not have the right, and you think you're going to twist his head off. You do not have that right. But this man could kill you. I promise you, those that have met the power of this man is very, very, very difficult to survive against. The real world is things you cannot do. Guy's got his fists up. He's coming. They say, take the low side. Well, he's, you're not going to get that. You're not going to get that. Survival is whatever it takes. Coming in, he's moving kind of pretty quick. In his face, getting out of the way, surviving. I do not care as long as you don't do ridiculous techniques. Get out of the way, run. He may have to be a shield. The chances of you surviving against a big man like this, let's get real. Very, 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 not very good. Anyone that thinks, go ahead, throw a punch, that you're going to get an arm bar, an arm bar, or a wrist lock, a wrist He'll kill you. He'll beat you to death because I just woke up his other hand. Or he's going to stick a knife right in my guts because I'm standing here doing This is the street. I met so many Aikido, so many a Judo, so many uh, uh, martial artists that come in blasting. If you think that I come in low, and again, we don't do low high, but you sit there and come in, punch it, he'll just kill you. He'll just kill you. And that's simple as that. Nothing else out there. Now, I know some of you guys are going, why do I train, what I do, what, what I do? Well, you need to get a guy, 200 pounds, don't make each other look good. Don't make each other look good. You need people to come in. You need this big guy on you in one second. And you need to see how long you live. If you train in any other way, if you train in any other way, it's not real training. It's not real training. I am not going to get a kick. I am not... And a guy, by the way, the guy's going to be back a little bit. And people keep thinking that a guy's going to be in your face. I'd never let a guy this close. That's not going to happen. He's going to be at you. He's going to come at you quickly, solidly, and fast. This is the real world. This is, this is a, an incorrect concept of what people think is going to happen on the street. Many people have never been in a fight in their life, and I hope they don't ever get into one. But if you think a guy's going to walk up and go like this, it's not going to happen. He's going to continue coming forward, and that's what is going to happen to you. We've talked about being grabbed. You're already going to take him off you right, real quick, and we've already covered that. Now, we're going to change this up a little bit in some of the ways to survive. Some of the ways to survive. Number one, let me borrow Jack again for a minute. This is a smaller man, and you are right. I can come in. He's throwing in punches from here. But you're going to see me moving exactly the same way. Exactly the same way, getting rid of this person. But he's a what? He's a shield. All of a sudden, the big guy's in. He's a shield. That's all he is. I don't want to put this person down. He comes in fast, one punch, and you, you don't want to sit there. Don't ever. As soon as you do this, 
As soon as you do this, you're back in your training studio. Because why? It took over a second. Anything, when you train, when you train, if it takes over a second, it's too long. You will see people up there training, and they're dancing with the guy. You're running backwards, and you're running. And this other guy's already on me. I'm still focusing on you. That's, that's not going to happen. You're going to get killed. You're going to get killed. He starts it. He starts it. I finish it, or I'm going to see what it's going to be. Thanks for watching our video lessons here at TRS Direct. Hit the like button down below and consider subscribing to our channel here on YouTube. Hit the bell icon and we'll send you a notification when there's a new lesson available. Thanks again for watching.